I watch Hello Okanagan from Penticton. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hello Okanagan and guess what? We're showing you three lakes in Vernon. We're on Kalamaka Lake right now. David, what are we gonna do on these lakes here in Vernon? We're gonna show you guys all the fun things that you can do for lake life in Vernon, BC. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure you do so. It really helps us out a lot. Other than that, stay tuned for this episode. Hey Peter, fun facts about Kalamalka Lake. What? Why is it named Kalamalka? I'm sure there's an indigenous connection. You are correct. So, it's named Kalamalka after the First Nations chief that occupied the northern shore. Did you also know that the water you drink from home yeah. mainly comes from Kalamalka Lake? Cal Lake is Vernon's primary drinking water supply. The thing I love about Cal Lake, the first time I moved here is I saw these aerial shots that our viewers probably see right now as well. Was like, there's lots of colors, and I think does it change throughout the year? Do you know? Yeah, about it that? can go from cyan to indigo. You know, different shades of turquoise as well. It's also actually named, nicknamed, the Lake of a Thousand Colors. During periods of warmer weather, um, actually, the increasing photosynthesis and phytoplankton uh, and the calcium and carbonate ions using the phosphorus, uh, all of that in the water actually it precipitates and increases the turbidity and the color of the lake. So one of the other things I really like too is um, the rail trail. Yes. It goes from Vernon to Oyama right now, but I heard that they want to bring it as far as starting in Sycamus, way past Kelowna eventually. So if you guys can see behind me, you're literally walking along the water, so you can't get a better view than that. And you guys, something you need to know about Vernon, British Columbia, it, uh, the Okanagan, that's why we're always trying to talk to you about it, is it's not four seasons, there's only two. There's winter and summer. Our spring is amazing, our fall is amazing. Like right now, you can actually be on this lake right till like late October if you wanted to. You can be on any of the lakes out here into late October. So if you're a boat lover, or if you just wanna come out and fish or hang out on the water, if you live in Alberta or Vancouver or whatever, I know your season ends really quick, but come out here and enjoy this. I and mean, it goes right far into, like I said, late October, so. Make sure you plan your next trip to Vernon. Okay, I'll wait for you. Let me know. Guys, Kalamalka Lake, there's so many things you can do out here. Mitchell lost the other ski, but he's doing well with the one remaining. Many talents. I guess so. Can't be just a free face. 
Make sure you subscribe. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you like. But guess what? We're somewhere else. David, where else can they find us? You can find us on social media, guys. Hello Okanagan on Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. Make sure you follow us and smash the like on some of those videos. Hey everyone, welcome to Kalamalka Lake. One of the wonderful things you can do here in the lake of many colors is paddle boarding, or as the hip people call it, sup, what's up? SUP, stand up paddle boarding, or kneel down paddle boarding. David, if people want to rent something like this, or if they don't have their own, where can they go here in the area? Well, there's no other place than Calavita right here on Cal Lake Road, literally across the street from the beach. We got rentals, we also do bikes for the rail trail. But today we're gonna be supping. Right, Peter? Supping. Oh. the view. Hey everyone, we're just at the beginning of Okanagan Lake here in Vernon, which goes all the way down to Penticton, as many of you know. And another one of these sports that we needed to try is something called kite sailing, kite boarding. We're gonna figure it out. We're here with Shane from Attridge Ski and Board Shop. Yeah, here so, in Vernon. Here in Vernon, of course. Uh, they're really famous. They got everything you need for the winter and for summer play, but we're here for summer right now. So did I get it right? Is it kite sailing, surfing? What is it? So uh, it's called kite boarding. It's also known as kite surfing. And we're also gonna cover some of the equipment for uh, foil boarding. Foil boarding. So we're near the end of September right now. We're blessed with some great weather. How far, like when do you start and end something like this? Here in the Okanagan, mind you, because people around the world are watching this. So we wanna show them what it's like with water sports here in the Okanagan. We usually start here March um, and go all the way into November as far as the water goes. Okay. And then come winter season, we switch and we use our kites um, with snowboards and skis and we can use frozen lakes and snowy fields and we can go right through the, the winter season. And here in Vernon you said how long until about November as far as the, water? the water? That is awesome. Okay well let's uh, see you suit up, let's chat a bit, a little bit more about the equipment and then see you ride the waves. Okay. Let's get. Shane, I kind of feel like Bruce Wayne, a little Batman toy here. What is this? And how does it work? This is a wing for wing boarding. So this works with the foil boards. And this is the new version of windsurfing, no mast. So you literally start out on a stand up paddle board with a foil underneath. Yeah. And you use this to propel you forward without a mast. Okay, buddy, so what do we got here? So this is your basic setup for kite boarding or kite surfing. We've got a kite, pump to inflate it, the bar and lines, a waist harness, life jacket, and a different size board depending on your riding style. Okay. This is your harness that you clip in with so that your arms are just used for steering but your body is used for the pull. So you put that around just like a WWE belt, I guess you already know that one. Pull the Velcro to get these two Velcros come like a belt. Chelsea, sweetie, I know the insurance is all paid up just in case something goes horribly wrong. 
So now I understand why David didn't want to show up today. <laughs> and folks, safety first. Hey everyone, we got some great gift ideas for you. Our Hello Okanagan merch. Head over to HelloOkanagan.com for all the merch. There's a lot of stuff there. Hello Okanagan, guess what? We're on Okanagan Lake. As we promised, the biggest lake in the Okanagan. And we're here with Captain Glenn. How you doing, my friend? I'm good, thanks, Captain Glenn. I like that. And we're on the SS. This is the Malibu, uh, it's called a Wake Center 23 LSV. That's a long name. It's a long name, yeah. It's a surf wakeboard boat. I got a, I got a quick question. What's your favorite part of boating? Well, when there was a memory when you were a kid and you're reliving it so again I now? Used, or? I used to compete barefoot water skiing, and that's my favorite sport. And I did it today, actually. I was barefoot water skiing today. Uh, and I haven't fallen like that in a long time. So not that that's my favorite. That's actually what I don't like the most. But. Is that kind of like letting Mother Nature exfoliate your feet naturally? Yes, extreme foliation. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, uh, yeah. My feet are very soft now. <laughs> Pushing out of your comfort zone a little here, eh? Woo! Am I holding it at all? Just no, my feet? Like, oh, just feet. like right there. Okay. okay. One right there. And then you're just gonna float. Look at you. When he starts to go, keep your arms straight. You're gonna push down on your heels, it's gonna do this. Okay. And you're gonna stand up. Okay. And slowly rotate it when you're. <laughs> yeah, because if you pull the rope in while we're trying to pull you up, yeah. you, the board will shoot up from under you, you land on your back. Okay. So let the, the arms straight, let the boat do all the pulling. You got this. Okay. You got this. Hello Okanaganers, we are here with Lisa from the Vernon Rowing and Dragon Boat Club doing something that I'm going to be doing for the first time. What about you, Peter? Dragon boats? I thought we were going to sword, like use swords and try to find dragons. You, said, you promised me dragons! Dragon boating, Peter. Uh, so Lisa, okay. tell us a little bit about the club and what dragon boating is. Dragon boating is an amazing sport. It's going to be way more fun than swords and dragons. We're going to take you out tonight in a boat that's 45 foot long. It's a thousand pounds. Just the boat weight, once we've got everyone in there, it's going to weigh 3,000 pounds. This is a sport that really is focused on teamwork and timing and um, is a fantastic opportunity for people of all ages and abilities to get out on the water. Amazing. Uh, We're trying to show our viewers that late past Labor Day, you can still utilize one of our three wonderful lakes. And we're here in Swan Lake. So if you're just driving in from the north into Vernon, the first lake you see is Swan Lake. And this is where you guys reside. This is where you guys train, have competitions and everything. First of all, talking about seasons, how far do you guys normally go into uh, dragon boating? We paddle until mid-October. We usually stop about Thanksgiving and the fall is by far the best time on the water. The, it's calm, the light is beautiful at the end of the day. It's just a spectacular time of our season. We all really love it. Well, Peter, I hope you are warmed up because if I'm not mistaken, dragon boating is an Olympic sport as well. It is now. Well, wow. this is our first time on Hello Okanagan doing an Olympic sport. So let's try it out. Well, before we leave, 
If people want to get more information, what's your website? It's Vernon Rowing and Dragon Boat Club. Vernon Rowing and Dragon Boat Club. Dot com. Check oh. it out right under here. Hey everyone, if you want to get information on our three wonderful lakes here in Vernon, David, where do they go? Well guys, you can head over right now to tourismvernon.com, all the details. And thank you so much to Tourism Vernon to helping us with this video. Tourism Vernon. Hello all you amazing Okanagan people. I am Saffron Quist. And I'm Chelsea Baker. And this is Okanagan Update. Things are spookier than ever at Donneray's Haunted Farm Adventure. The ghost town of Deadwood reawakens and fall activities are in full swing. They've got a hedge maze and it kind of looks like a corn maze but with more twists, turns, dead ends and spooky surprises. Also, the Donneray Farm Market provides fresh pumpkins straight off the pumpkin patch and local produce. There are inflatable bouncy horses to ride, a rickshaw carriage experience, archery, and goats to feed. This haunted farm adventure runs during the whole month of October. Glowhaven Community Hub and Vernon Town Theatre present the Indigenous Showcase. This is actually happening monthly, but the next one is gonna be on October 4th. Enjoy Indigenous film, wine, vendors, and food. You can purchase your tickets at thetown.ca. The NOCLS's Golden Burger Challenge is on again this October. 11 restaurants create a special burger and compete for the Gold Burger Trophy. You, the public, can participate by popping into any or all of the 11 locations, ordering the Golden Burger and rating it. Field of Screams at the Oki Ranch is back. There's gonna be four mazes with four themes, Nightmare Next Door, Forgotten Space, Classics from the Crypt, and Welcome to the Dark Side. Skip the Line VIP options are available online, and that's it for your Okanagan update. Back to the episode. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Hello Okanagan. Again, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Where else they can they find us? Well, guys, you can find us on social media, Hello Okanagan, on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. And if you're watching us on the internet, we're also on television in the Okanagan, Shaw TV, and now, Telus TV as well.